Hey guys, it's VSpecs from Obviously Content. Today I am playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. This is hands down the very best Yu-Gi-Oh! game I've ever played. And I've played some of the old ones on DS, okay? This game is amazing. It's not quite up to scale with the current Yu-Gi-Oh! at all. There's no XYZ cards on that mess, but that's fine by me. Later on, they'll probably get that stuff, which is fine by me as well. But right now, it's old school Yu-Gi-Oh! Back before they introduced all XYZ and all sorts of other stuff. And XYZ, even the newer stuff. It's just plain Yu-Gi-Oh! battling. And right now I'm just checking for gems. But there's little bitty spots you can check for gems. And these gems are used to buy cards. So quickly, this is taking a second to load. This is weird. Blue Stacks has an issue with this game. The only thing that doesn't load right away is Gate for some reason. Everything else loads pretty fast and maybe that's just a bugged installation. For me, but I'm playing this through Blue Stack Simulator, so hopefully I'll have this looking nice for you. But for me, it's a bit strange looking. So first of all, let me show you here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what opening a pack looks like. I should have saved my gems for so I could open like 20 packs or something for a video, but I didn't know I was gonna make a video on this. I didn't even have Blue Stacks until a few minutes ago. Or. Actually, an hour ago, because I had to install stuff, and I wanted to continue playing the game on my phone while it downloaded, and apparently it disconnected me and reset my download a couple of times, so I finally got it off and on the phone. It's so addicting. Alright, so you use gems. You can also buy them, so there's a pay-to-play side, but you can get everything for free. There we go. Alright, it's much... Oh my goodness, patrol, robo, ritual weapon, equip only to a level 6 or lower ritual monster... Ritual all. It gains attack and defense. That's not too good. Right. The cards I'm after right now is one more of this guy. And two more of these. And then I'm done with Neo. Which I know some people probably are going to say if you play this. That Ultimate Rising is the way to go. And I'm, I'm doing that as well. But every single time I get this guy. Right here. Hold up. Wait for it to load. Why is it not loading right away? <sighs> Editing, great. There we go. Alright. This guy right here, which you can't see, of course, which is something Coaston, yeah. Double Coaston and Kaiser Seahorse. Kaiser Seahorse. Beautiful. Both of which have good attack. They're only level 4s, and they're both. One's dark and one's light. This one can be used as two tribute cards, so I can summon a Dark Magician super easy. This one I can summon a, I think it's like Blue Eyes White Dragon or something. Amazing! These right here, same thing. This is where there's more pay to play, but like, this is literal just you being lazy. Because six left, I haven't bought any. Uh, and this is also, they gave this away free. Get this game now because they gave away a crap ton of stuff free. And they gave you like 60 of these for free. Okay. Amazing. So I see this is how many I can do right now. My This is my stage, stage 25. Amazingness, okay. I can't stress you how good this game is though. So let's go ahead and go in here. Let's see what my deck is. My deck's not the best, not claiming it to be one. I actually want to use it. Look at Yagi Yumi's deck. Yugi's deck. Sorry, my bad. English is uh, not my greatest language. Even though it's my only language. Actually, it's Joey Wheeler's deck because I haven't updated it yet. See, I have Double Coastan, Double Coastan, Kaiser Seahorse, Strawberry, Strawberry. I think three of these. Yeah, three of these. One of these. Blue. Dark Magician, Dark Magician. Jerry Beans Man, Crawling Dragon, Hashtag 2, Gravity Axe, Gravity Axe, Banner of Courage, Banner of Courage, Enchanted Javelin, and then another Enchanted Javelin, and then back to Double Coast on. Here's all, hold up. Whoa, Scroll Wheel does something, that's interesting. Here, I don't want to edit it, but I'm going to edit it and just not do anything to it. But I'm going to show you the rest of the cards I have laying here. First of all, you can pull up there. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, uh, this is going to be... Huh, I need to figure out a way to set up an auto-scroll on this game, which is easy on here. There's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's control mappings for blue stacks, so that's fine. But here's all the cards. As you can see, I've been playing this for like two days, so I've been kind of playing it for four or five. I started it Friday, so it's Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three days, and I'm stage 25. You judge me however you want to, but I this game's so good, I can just take it wherever I go. 
<clears throat> amazingness. Honestly, best Yu-Gi-Oh game I've ever played. Let me go on to what my current mission is. This is deck boards. You can look at other people's decks. They'll be like, yo, this is my deck. I can probably put. I think I can post my deck. Look at that. Oh my god. This guy's hacked or something. Is he? I sure hope not. For beginners, huh? This deck looks kind of hacked. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just bugged or something. I don't know. But that looks like a hack. Maybe he's just like... I don't know. How many stars do I have? I don't know. I'm not going to show you the trader in depth. Oh, yeah. One more thing. Uh, if you notice my cards... I, I don't know. No, I don't want to challenge you. I hit the wrong button. I'm saving you for after recording. Because I don't want to keep challenging those. Because that's going to get boring. Or it gets boring. Customization. This is amazing as well. They give you all these mats I got for free. Look at this one, for instance. I really like this card sleeve. You start out with this. You unlock the this one. Oh, no. No. I think it's this one. And uh, is it this one? No. It's this one and this one they give you for free, right? And then for the mat, they give you this one and this one for free. Right off the bat, just for downloading the game. So download it while I can. I could use this, but I'm really, really enjoying. Oh, I like it. I like that a lot. I wish I had the matching one. I'm using that one right there and that one right there. Beautiful. I love the customization. This is literally... Oh, card catalog. I could look at that and show you all the cards in here. But they're supposed to be getting more packs to open. So, like, forget going out and paying three bucks for three cards at the dollar... Or the gospel... The dollar of the gospel. Uh, I'm thinking of too many stores. Walmart, my bad. Or wherever you should buy your cards. Instead, download this game. And sure, you don't have all the new packs now right away, but there are packs coming. So, oh my goodness, I can't stress to you how good it is. It's a little bit different from the original game, and I will show you right now, but it's still just as good. Let me just quickly check and see who I haven't finished doing yet. I need two more on him, I need two more. So, consecutive means in a row. I'm 8 out of 10 right now, so that tells you how good I am. I need to do this, and then once I complete them all, I get 125 of those. That means I can open two more packs, but I'm going to save it until I have 500. I highly recommend you save them until you have 500, so you can open 500 a pack. As you can tell from the numbers back there, 500 would equal 10 packs, by the way. But as you can tell by the numbers back there, no, I was not doing that. But it's because I'm after, like... Once you get down to really wanting just one card out of the pack before resetting it, which we, if you reset the box, it will give you a new box. That means you can get all, all the cards again. And I'm just after one ultra rare in that box before I reset it again. So, you know, I'm kind of not wanting to... How do I say this? Oh, I know how to say it. But I'm not wanting to completely just like, you know... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Point is, I'm not wanting to use a bunch of things and get a bunch of other cards I don't really care for. And sure, there's other great cards in Neo, whatever. But, yeah. And if you're wondering what to go for, I keep hearing Ultimate Rising, the very first pack set, and I think it's even going away. So, if you want to take everyone's advice, go Ultimate Rising, which is the very first pack. But I went Neo, whatever. Neo, Dis it's not Neo Discovery. But it's Neo something another. Oh, what's that do? Okay, there we go. This looks beautiful. Alright, it's his turn right now. This is not too bad playing on PC either. If I had my actual PC, but like this is a crappy laptop. So, just know. Now, you will not start out with some of these cards. You will start out with one of these. Is this, yeah, you'll start out with one of these, and they'll give you another one for free, which is amazing, but it's part of their whole goal thing, and that's only for a limited time, so go and download this game right now. We use this guy, normal summon, and look, it has animations for everything. This game is amazing, guys. Download it. I'm sorry if I'm rambling a bit, but oh my goodness. I seriously, like, have been trying to get people to play it, and I got, like, one person to play it, one person was playing it, and I was like, what is that? And he's like, it's you, you'll duel links. So I was like, oh my god, I gotta get that. So I downloaded it. I was like, okay, let's see how pay to play win it is. And it's not pay to win at all. Sure, there are pay to win aspects of it, like the whole you gotta wait for the people to charge up. But if you play right and you're actually decent at it, then, like, I've hardly ever had to wait a whole three hours. Because every single time you stage up, you get more people to show up. So that, what's that? English, please. My first language is actually English. 
but sometimes I think it's Rambler or something. I don't know. The point is, I can't speak English. Normal Yu-Gi-Oh starts you out with 800 life points, and I think like 40 of cards is the normal deck size. And this one, the normal deck size is 20. It's 20 to 30. I think it's like 40 to 50 for normal Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm. The, I don't remember. I have. Okay, if anyone wants this, me to post some Yu-Gi-Oh or pictures of my Yu-Gi-Oh decks or Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I have, I have one over here that's like my normal cards that I don't really care about. And then I have a bunch of first editions that are really, really nice looking and I keep them on a shelf. And if you want, I can post a few pictures on Twitter if you want. Speaking of, follow me on Twitter. But I wasn't going to upload a video at all for like a while until I got my PC built. Sorry for rambling. But this game's just so good and I had to upload it. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and use this. The thing is, these guys really stay here forever unless your enemy destroys them. Which is good, but also, if you have other things to use, it's not so good. And now I've just locked up all three of those slots. I wish I could zoom out for you, but... I need to set that up, which I haven't yet. I can do this, though, so... If you want to see top-down. So, first things first, we're going to attack with this guy. And if you want me to, like, explain my deck sometime... There we go, Yami Yugi's dead. He, this isn't my main character, by the way, that I use. I actually use Yami Yugi, but you can't face him in gate without ha using another character. By the way, if you get to stage 25 and you're like, what the crap do I do? I play I chose Yami Yugi, how do I face him? Or Kaiba. Uh, you have to change characters and then he'll show up in gate in place of, I think, the character you choose. Because you can't face, you can through PvP, which I'll go ahead and show you a match of that. Oh my gosh, this load screen now. Also, whoa, did you see that? Look at this. Whoa. I'm not doing that with my mouse, I'm doing that with the scroll wheel of my mouse. That's cool. I hope this only records the game part, so I don't have to like crop out the black bars on the sides, which no matter what you won't see, but I will. It's going to be annoying cropping them out. Uh, controversial. Consecutive. I need to do one more Yami Yugi, but let me show you my main character real quick. I haven't set him up with the current cards. He's pretty much set up. It's this guy right here, and he is level 25. And here's what I was talking about the pay to play win things earlier. When you level the characters up, you unlock more deck slots. And like I said, if you play decently and play right, you don't have to worry about this right here. As a matter of fact, I have 53 of these. They gave out 50 of them today because of a maintenance. And anyone who gets on can get them. Even people who haven't played yet. And they gave out a bunch of gems and everything else. I can't show you, but it'd be right here. And there'd be like a number beside it. And be a crazy number right now. Because they gave out so much stuff. If you haven't got this game yet, at least check it out. Just for like a second. And should I do a level 30? Because I could use another Dark Magician. Not really. I'm crazy for having the amount I do right now. Aqua, hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. Is it worth doing that? I'm just gonna do 10. Duel. I'm just trying to get through these. Because I do know the next one's gonna require keys for the gates. That's the other thing. You gotta, like, don't just go crazy and farm the gate when you're low stage. Once you're max stage, do whatever you please. But there's also the special little missions. That you want to do and those those you also want to see and make sure you're doing stuff according to those because they do give rewards like gems and stuff and it's just nice to get gems right now I think I'm actually using this guy Joey Wheeler for a lot purposely because I do want to get him to level 10 because they'll give me like a hundred I think it's 50 gems 100 gems something nice so I want me some free gems because I love opening packs it's just really fun and if you want, I can do pack opening videos as well. Sorry this isn't Unlimited Ninja. If you are really depressed, this isn't Unlimited Ninja. I'm sorry, but I'm just kind of done with Unlimited Ninja. I still play it every once I still play it, but I don't want to upload videos of it much. I will every once in a while. There is one coming in a couple days, and I'm actually kind of sad that it's coming because it's coming because of something terrible. But I'm turning it into a video, and it's going to be fun to edit. But it's... Oh, yeah, Kaiser Seahorse. If I get a dragon, or if I get a white dragon soon, I can annihilate Yami right now. There we go. Even if he turns me... Okay, I don't think Yami has anything. That we'll do that. Okay, good, he's just summoning a monster. Unless he has something crazy that I don't know about. Yeah, he just has Watt Kid. Not much. Alright. 
Enchanted. Okay, let's go ahead and throw this. I always set this just because I know eventually someone will probably attack me. I'm gonna not place anything yet. Even- hold up. Well, that's 2.2. Basically- shut up, okay? I'm trying to think here. Um, I'm gonna do dark because, well, normally I'd be playing as Yami and he has a thing that boosts dark attacks. His skill is, it's like, I automatically activate Yami's spell. And it, I think it just increases certain, um, English. It increases certain dark type cards, so I've been running a dark deck. Not because I'm a crazy person and I like dark, but because dark decks are nice. If you want to be annoying and be like, dark deck, ew, that's evil. It's not... It's not that I'm being evil, it's... There's nothing evil about it, it's literal just the element type. But yeah, someone was... Someone was like, you run a dark deck? Oh, what's wrong with you? You're the devil. I was like, no? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I hope this is a joke. What the heck? Why would you summon an attack position? Because if you summon that in a face-down defense position, the only thing he could I could do is destroy it. But it won't matter much, but it negate a bit of damage. Not enough to matter. I'm just gonna go ahead and end this. I'm not worried about anything but getting a win here. And that and battle damage. Ching! Winna winna. Move over. I do wanna I wanna zoom in and out thing. I also need to figure out how those work. Because like there's certain parts where you can turn hold up, let's see if I can I can't get it. Oh well. Honestly, twenty FPS is not too bad. For this running on my laptop. 30 sometimes. Here's the thing about it. I figured out what the quality setting does. Uh, it increases your FPS. Because there's an FPS counter on Bandicam. And when I set it up it was getting close to 60. And the more you set it up I think it goes up by 5 or something. The middle's 30 FPS. The like bottom's like 15 or so. Okay. Yeah thank you Yami. Uh, yes yes yes. This is the only one I have left. Go ahead and collect this. 100 gems, baby. That is definitely nice. That's also definitely nice. Black gate key. All I need to do is this, which is basically just farming these potatoes. Let me see if I can find a Vegabond. I think it's Vegabond. Vegabond or Vegabond? Oh, look. There's Kaiba, which is cool. Uh, is there anyone else who's a special character? Anyway, I suppose I'm done talking for now. I'm going to go ahead and set it to time-lapse mode. Or not set it to time-lapse mode. I'm going to time-lapse it in the editor. But I'm going to mute my mic now. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. I don't really care because this channel... I'll talk about it when the PC's done. Uh, and keep it beast mode. I hope you enjoyed the video. Also, share this with your friends. And be like, yo, look at this video. This game is freaking amazing. Get it. I'll try and leave a Play Store link in the description, and it's even on iPhone, so don't be like, Oh, Android has the game I want. It's on iPhone and Android. The only person left out right now is Windows phones, so yeah. Sorry, Windows phone. You hardly ever get any good games. CSR Racing 2 was another of my favorite a couple months ago, and well, we see how Windows phone doesn't have that yet. They have CSR 1, so I expect 2 to come out soon. Anyway, suppose that's all for now. Sorry for the rambling. Keep it beast mode. Time-lapse mode. Go!